In this video, we are going to see how to share blogger post to WhatsApp automatically. Let's say that every time a new post is added to your Google blogger, you want, you have a list of clients in your spreadsheet. So you want this blog to be shared with all these people through WhatsApp. And here we are using interact to send WhatsApp messages. Now, how can this automation be done? For this, you will have to integrate the three applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Google Blogger and your action application would be Google Sheets and Interact. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. Now to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL babli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of the software. On the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user simply click on sign in. If you are the new user click on this tab sign up it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks so that you can explore the entire application. Now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. Now as we do that here we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side you can see another tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. So here my objective is to share blogger post to WhatsApp automatically. So I'm going to name it as share blogger post to WhatsApp automatically. Let's click on create. Now as we do that here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, I am choosing Google Blogger as my trigger application. Let's click on this. And the trigger event here would be new post added. So every time a new post is added, so the workflow is going to run. Now here on the right hand side, you can see it is written. This trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes, which basically means that this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes. So the workflow will run in every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. Now I'm going to click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with a Google Blogger account. I'm going to select add new connection, sign in with Google and here we have to select the account once done. So here it is asking me to provide access to my Google account. So this is absolutely secure and I'm going to click on allow so that it can be authorized and here we can see that the authorization has been successful. I had already logged into my Google Blogger account. So before you make this connection, please make sure that you have already logged in. Now once you have done this, so I'm going to take you to my Google Blogger account and here I'm going to create a new post. So let's say the title is latest advancements in IT industry okay so this is latest advancements in IT industry now here I'm going to provide some content so let's say that I have written this this is just a demo data and once done I'm going to click on publish confirm so it is publishing my post and we can see that the post has been published this is my post now I'm going to take you back to public connect and here what we have to do is I'm going to turn on this mapping button. How do I do that? I have to toggle this towards the right. As soon as I do that, I'm going to delete this, go back to the blog post that I have created. So here you can see this is the blog ID. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. So this is how you have to map your blog ID. And now the status. So what do you want? So you want to showcase only the live posts or the draft or the scheduled one. So I have selected only the live one which, which have been published. Now let's click on save and send test request. As I do that here you can see that I have received the API response. This is the URL of my blog. Then this is the time of updation. Now this here is the title. Then there is a self link. Then as I take you down, so here you can see that this here is the content. Okay, the entire content is here. Then we have the author URL, author image URL, author ID and author display name. So we have received this data. 
Now, what is my objective? My objective is to send this data to everybody on WhatsApp. So let's say that I have got the details of my employees on a Google Sheet. So here I'm going to select my action application as Google Sheet. Let's click on this. And now the action event here would be get rows. So I'm going to click on connect. And again, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with a Google Sheets account. Let's select add new connection, sign in with Google. Now we are selecting the account and then we would provide the access by clicking on allow. And here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which basically means that Google Sheets account and Public Connect are now connected. Let me show you the spreadsheet that I've already created. So this here is my spreadsheet. The name is employee details and I have got the following column fields, name, email address and contact number. Taking you back to Public Connect, here I'm going to select the spreadsheet employee details. Now since there was only one sheet within that, so it has already been selected by the system. And here we have to provide the range. This here is the range. So this is from A2 to C6, but I'll have more data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide my range as A2 to 6. So here I'm going to write A2, put a colon and just C. Okay. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that, here you can see that we have received the API response and here we have the details of all the users. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we have got the entire data. Now, I want to segregate the values so that when I'm sending the message on WhatsApp, I just need one data at a time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to toggle this towards the left so that the simple response is turned into advanced response. Now I'm again going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received my information, the response in array format. So I've got the entire data in one row now. And now I'm going to segregate this with the help of another feature by Pabli. I'm going to add an action step here. And this time I'm going to choose the feature iterator, which helps in segregating the values. See, it has already chosen the array as I click on save and send test request. Here you can see that we have received the response only for the first row. And this feature is extremely important because when I'm sending the message on WhatsApp, I cannot have multiple data at one time. I can have only one data at a time. Now, once we have received this, I'm going to add another action step. And this time I'm going to choose another application, which is Bitly. What is it? Basically, it can actually contract the URL that we have received. So let me show you here. So here the URL that we have received is literally lengthy. So I don't wish to send this extremely lengthy link on my WhatsApp. For this, I'm going to shorten this. And how do I do that? With the help of Bitly. What is the action event here? Shorten link. Let's click on connect. I have already logged into my Bitly account. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with a Bitly account for this. Let's click on add new connection, connect with Bitly. And now here we have to authorize Pabli to use my account. Let's click on allow. Once done, the authorization has been successful. So the group has already been selected. And now here I'm going to map the long URL. Mapping means that I already have this information in the previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it here. How do I do that? As I click on this, it is going to show me all the previous steps. So I'm going to take you to step one. And this here is the long URL. Right, this is how we map. Now, why is mapping important? So that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. If I had written this manually, then it would have been stuck with the manually written data. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that it has provided me the shortened link. This is the new link that we have received. So once we have received this, what is my objective? I want to send a message on WhatsApp. So I'm going to add another action step here. And this time my application would be interact. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to send WhatsApp template message. Let's click on connect. Here again, Public Connect wants to connect itself with the Interact account. I'm going to click on Add New Connection. I have already logged into my Interact account. Now, to set up this connection, we need a secret key. And how do we do that? So we can get that by clicking on this hyperlink. But before that, make sure that you have already logged into your Interact account. So as I click on this, this here is the secret key. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Public Connect, paste this over here and now click on save to set up this connection.
So here you can see that Interact is now connected with Pabli Connect. Now here we have to provide this information. We have to map this information. So if I show you the previous step, so here you can see that I have received the phone number, but this doesn't have the country code. So here I cannot provide the full phone number. So I'm going to choose this format. So first I'm going to provide the country code. You can provide your country's code and then the phone number here is I'm going to map this by going to step three. This is the phone number right now suppose you had the phone number with the country code so you could have directly mapped it over here you didn't have to do this step now once this is done comes the template code so what are these templates templates are basically pre-written messages that you can send on whatsapp or any other platform and here you do not have to write or compose these messages again and again now let me show you the different templates by clicking on this hyperlink so these are the active templates that I already have here and I have got this template created new blog. As I show you this, you can see that the language selected is English. Then here you have the option of header. So if you want to add a text or an image, video or document, you can always do that. I have selected none. Then comes the body part. So here we have hello. Then there's a number within double curly braces. New post has been arrived on our blogger account. Don't wait to share your love. Your feedback is awaited. Then there is a link and another number within double curly braces. Don't forget to save this number to access the post through the given link regards. And then there's another number. What are these three numbers? These numbers are basically variables that can be changed with every message so that you do not have to write it again and again. Now, if you want to add a footer, you can do that. If you want to add call for action buttons, you can do that. I am going to take you up and this here is the template code so i'm going to copy this go back to public connect and paste this over here once done the language code since the selected language was english the code here is en and then we have the header value so we did not select any header so this is going to be blank now comes the body variables so first of all we had the name so i am going to get the name from the third step then we have the link for this. I'm going to go to step four and this here is the link and then the name of the company. So I'm just going to write this manually because this is a static information. I don't have to change it again and again. Now, since we did not select any CTA button, so these two options would be blank again. I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that here, we can see that we have received a API response. This seems to be positive. Let me show you this on my WhatsApp. And yes, here you can see that I have received the message. So here you can see that all these people have received the link. Let me show you this link. I'm going to copy this and open this in a new tab. And yes, this is my post. But now I also need to check this in real time. So I'm going to go back to blogger post and here I'm going to add a new post. So here let me write demo post so i'm just going to write is a demo post just to check my integration process okay so this is just a demo post i'm going to click on publish confirm and as i do that so here we can see that the post has been posted and now I should have received a message on WhatsApp. But we know that this trigger has a polling time of 10 minutes. So we are going to wait for 10 minutes and then we are going to go back to WhatsApp to check for messages. Now it's been 10 minutes and I'm going to show you the WhatsApp account. And yes, here you can see that we have received these messages. So now I'm going to copy this link and show you. So let me open this in a new tab. And here you can see this was our new post. This basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application is Google Blogger where the event is new post added. Then our first action application is Google Sheets where the event was get rows. Then we had added a feature by Pabli, which is iterator to segregate the values. Then our action application was bit.ly to shorten the link. And finally, our action application was interact where the event was to send WhatsApp template message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow, which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us.
Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pavli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pavli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pavli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.